how do you explain that our civilization and our societies could have gotten to this level of sophistication, technology, institutions? I mean, it really is like a very elaborate machine. It is like a very complex watch. This is why I liken many things to building tools, because the degree of complexity that a society can master in their tools will determine how successful they are. The point is, how does a civilization get to such a degree of success and competence and then go in this direction that we're going, this crazy cat lady direction for society where you know we're going to take care of the sick and the needy? Obviously, you're trying to be fair. You're trying to initially say, you know, we want to extend rights and a voice to everyone. And then these people start voting for just their own comfort and their own security, and they betray the ideals and the principles that built the civilization. They don't defend, they don't protect, they don't build into the future, they simply fulfill themselves. And it's disgusting, it's obscene. You don't see young families in the neighborhoods around you. You see elderly people that are just like out of shape and with, a, with, with this kind of unhealthy attitude. And these people can't sustain a civilization and if I talk about these things for too long they'll just they'll go crazy they'll flip out and I'm fine with that I actually kind of you know find it very amusing because what do you think is going to happen do you think that a bunch of incompetent whining children are going to be able to do anything except just what they do there's a reason why like 95 percent of the world's wealth is concentrated in like a few percentage points of the people. How could you change that? Why would you change that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with the very best and the most capable people doing the best? Now I can understand why you don't want to com- why somebody wouldn't want to compete in that situation. I really do. In other words, I understand why the majority of people want to be a bitch. I understand why the majority of people don't want to take chances. I understand why the majority of people want to be politically correct. Of course, because the chances in doing anything otherwise are huge and require the ability to go your own way from the group. And women and children and weak men, they're not going to do that. And they're going to shame the people around them that do because they're ashamed. And now when these values, when these principles, when these types of people are deciding the, you know, the future, they're not even able to see the future. All they're able to, this is why you can't have a weak, greedy lazy person as a leader and they don't understand it they want to say things like it's my turn what if I give you more stuff and it's like you could do all of those things and we still won't respect you and you still won't have the skills right it's like come on what do you do you really want to be you know the the captain of the team when you don't have the skills to play the game and women are fine with that and young men are just or you know foolish children you know, men that have adopted this feminine way of looking at the world, this bitch way of looking at the world, they're fine with that. 